That's enough to paint lonesome black and blue yeah, I have you And you have me That puts a bow up in the sky That tells the rain to cease We've had up And we've had down We've had warm nights We've gone round and round What I know This much is true Color in the rainbow This shines like you So let's carve our names into this tree Then lay beneath We're lucky this ladder didn't hit the truck We had quite the storm last night. Uh, Marcel and I were heading down to check to see if the chickens had been closed up and just started pouring rain. Yeah, we didn't even make it out, barely out back of the camper. No. Nope. And we decided it was better just to text the boy to see if he put the chickens up, and thankfully he did. Heck yeah. So the ladder on the side of the house we didn't have secured down, and the truck is parked there. Thankfully, there's no damage. Yeah. It didn't come with the sunroof originally. So this has been created on its already. Look at that. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, well, we got a summer guys. It looks like our day has been planned for us. Thank you, Mother Nature. It's not like I had anything else I could possibly be doing right now. It looks like we're mo it's moving day for the tent. The channel it's all grady i'm denise i'm marcel and i'm gage well everyone we're so happy you joined us here on our 25 acres here in arkansas yeah we're a family of three in arkansas building our homestead right now we're building our house yeah right now we're building our house and we're under the gun right now guys a little bit right we are under the gun i can feel the pressure right now i don't know if you could tell my temperature is rising all right, so here's where we left off on our last video. Yeah, we installed our very last sheet for the first eight feet of three walls, right? So we've got 
a lot on. Y'all seen it. It was a little bit sketchy, but we did what we had to do. So in that video, guys, we spilt a little bit of beans. We dropped some hints to you guys about who did we reach out to for help. Some of the hints we dropped must have been really good because you guys guessed right away. And you know what? Most of you was right. All right, guys. So one of the beans that I spilled was these folks have, they have a lot to offer. All right, so we had a lot of comments in the last video on guesses of who it could be that's coming to help us. Yeah, who did we invite? And our subtle hint was they have a lot to offer, mm -hmm. right? And it's because they just did this. Mm -hmm. You guys guessed it. Hit the nail on the head. Heck yeah. Our friends Melanie and Gary from Simple Life Reclaimed are coming out, you guys. Heck yeah. It is happening. It's happening. So, that being said, we need to be ready for these guys, right? Because they're very busy and we're very blessed to have friends that can make time for us. All right, everyone. So, we have a few things to do in order to get ready for our friends to show up. All right, everyone, so let's see what our next step is going to be. You good? Yep. Okay, baby, case, go to the middle and hold that line. Um. Yep. Hey, when you're using lumber like this, doing absolutely everything repetitive and the same is crucial. When you pull a side, when you line up a side, you want to do it exactly the same way every time because from that point this way, everything can change. All right, one board will be three and three and a half inches wide, and the other one will be three and five eighths wide. So. You just want to pick one good line and build everything away from it. That makes sense? How's that? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's get these two center boards, yeah? Well, let me clean this one up right quick. So I think another thing that we can do, guys, is we could invite somebody else. I think we need to add, we need to add to the dream team. Gotta come back. Let's All right. Now One day I'll get good at that. That's why I wasn't a gunslinger in my last life. I was a gazelle. Serengeti. So the reason, the reason guys we are going to do the layout exactly the same as we did on the top is because I want our roof trusses to land on the studs in the interior wall as well. Just for this one. The rest of them I'll save myself a little bit, right? Because you should be able to just bump up to your interior wall and pull your layout. This one we're going to pull from the outside of our exterior wall because that's how we pulled all of our measurements from the beginning. Cool? I need a smaller board. That's using your cracked pinion. We 
did have a couple of options. We could have went with 24 inch centers, guys, for our spacing. It's a very common interior wall spacing as you don't necessarily need as much structural integrity, right? And we really don't need it for this one either. But in the spirit of overdoing things, we are gonna go with the 16 inch layout anyways. Just because I have such a flat pitched roof, guys, it's only gonna be a four and 12 pitch. We do know that there's not a lot of snow totals here in Arkansas, but they do get a lot of ice, right? And on a flat roof, that ice can sit for a while and it could eventually sag us, right? So we're just gonna do a 16 inch center, guys, just to be overdone and we can rest easy at night. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna do it exactly the same, guys. We're gonna find our our 16 inch center. We're gonna pull back to the to the left side of it or the whatever side, this side of it. All right, we're gonna pull to three quarters of an inch and make our mark. Yeah? All right, here it is. We're just gonna blaze down this sucker and make these marks. Here it is, 16 inch. We'll come back three quarters of an inch. Bam! Um, should be pretty simple. All right, they're all marked. Here it is, 16 inch center. All right, we'll come back three quarters of an inch. We're gonna come down, 16 inch center. Three quarters of an inch. All right, 16 inch center, three quarters of an inch. Just same thing over and over and over, and that's what life is. super hot guys it's just hot enough since we had that big rain it's just hot enough to make it very very sweaty you know what I'm saying all right so we're gonna do the same thing we did last time right we'll make a mark you know that's our end we'll go BAM see that BAM see that right there that's transferred to our bottom board. So they will be exactly the same, the marks, top and bottom. We're not gonna pull measurements and take a chance of being out on our layout. All right, we'll be fast about it, guys, right? Bam. All Bam. right. Sweet. It's hot sauce. Seriously, seriously, hot sauce. All right, we're totally short boards. Okay, we don't have enough boards to put one on every single mark. On this end of the wall, I know I'm going to be removing this section of the wall and putting a beam in instead, right? So we could go every other one here right we'll just go every other one and we'll try to fill those in most right crown crown will be uh up obviously It's 
So I got a super sweet nail gun, guys, but I bought the wrong nails for it. So we are using this equally sweet nail gun from Harbor Freight that can take all the nails. All you got to do is unbolt some stuff. The only thing that's not super awesome about it, guys, is my other one. You could pop the head open here and get a uh, stuck nail out. This one you have to do it old school and dig it out. one wall this is the top this is the bottom What in the world is he doing, you might be asking. I'm just tempering this. We have our level up here? No. No? That sucks. Go grab it. Now we gotta take a break, guys. It's just too hot. Cameras are gonna keep dying. blazing hot so we're gonna really take a break this time uh let the cameras cool off but check it out y'all one portion of the wall up we are short some boards so we're filling in every other one just on that one guys just on this end wall because this wall is coming out anyways guys it's going to become a beam and a big entryway into our kitchen so, so they don't necessarily need to be there no it's going to be a beam all right let's break all right, guys, so Grub Terra sent us a bag of their absolutely delicious soldier fly, black soldier fly larvae. And I do believe it's like, I don't know, freeze dried or something. Chickens love it, man. The chickens love it. Those reptiles love it too. Fish love it. Yeah, they got a bunch of pictures Birds. of things. But because they knew that we had chickens, they were like, hey, let us treat your chickens. And our chickens are very happy to have these treats, guys. Check it out. Get you somebody.
The chickens say thank you, Grub Terra. All right, you guys, so we never made it back from break. Uh, the heat just got to be too much, and before you know it, it was the next day with rain. Yeah, guys, it got so hot that we couldn't continue. And by the time we were ready to continue, the storms came in. So we put everything away, and it was supposed to be a quick storm, right? By 10 o'clock, it was gone. Not true. So they got it wrong on the, the weather. Mother Nature was like, mm, you think you know what's up? Well, here you go. All right, everyone. So the weather has kept us from finishing up the wall today, but we are going to get back to it tomorrow. Everything's ready to go. We just got to get it put together and stood up. We already did all of our layout and everything is done. I came up here after the final storm allegedly blew through and I squeegeed everything off so that we would have a nice dry deck first thing tomorrow morning. Hopefully. All right, guys, since it worked so well with our last attempt at spilling some beans and giving some hints, we're gonna do it again, guys. So if you can guess who else we've invited, put it in the comments below and I'm gonna give you a little hint. There's two of them. <laughs> there is two of them, but they are two channels. Try to figure that one out. Bam! Guys, we also want to thank those of you who that have loved us and supported us through the loss of our, our dog. I can't even explain to you how important that is and how instrumental it is for us in our grieving process so thank you very much from our hearts to you thank you thank you guys yeah all right you guys so if you enjoy our content please be sure to give us a big thumbs up heck yeah ring that notification bell that sucker down there guys we'd like to let you all know when our videos are posted it's so sweet share our videos that's what i do guys i share it with you you know because you're watching it be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Man, that is so fun too, I'm telling you, and it's easy and it's affordable. And times like this, a free subscription is awesome. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace.